Man, in today's video, I'm gonna post a clip of this black woman talking the importance of having a man in the house. And she's gonna say some very, you know, significant things far as the world has to approach you differently when you have a man. You know, she's going to talk about a little bit of the Sonya Massey uh, and then how a man potentially would have handled that situation. And I tell you, man, it's truly rare to hear a woman say this, but the thing that I want you to keep in mind is submission is the price for protection. Let's talk about it. All praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. I can't say it enough, man. Submission is the price of protection. And that's throughout the entirety of the hierarchy. See, the word says that man is head of the woman and Hamashiach is head of man. And the Most High Yah is head of Hamashiach. Hamashiach said he came to do the will of Abba Yah, of the Father, of the Most High Yah, okay? Man, in order to have protection, spiritual protection in life, has to submit to the will of Messiah, Yahushua HaMashiach. It's the same thing as we go down the pecking order. You know, if a woman wants protection from a man in a relationship, the price is submission. And in the word, it says, woman is not independent from man and man is not independent from woman. But we see when we look statistically, this mindset of I can do bad by myself, I don't need no man, I'm masculine, I'm an alpha female, all of this nonsense systematically hits the black community the worst. And I tell you, man, there's certain things, being a married man, my wife don't have to worry about. She flat out don't have to worry about. Yesterday I was out there, uh, you know, on our land, pretty much teaching my son not only how uh, to handle firearms safely, but just getting him more confident and proficient uh, in pistol and rifle marksmanship. So he can be uh, not only just a provider by saying he verbally can protect, you know, just getting him to understand what it means to be a protector and a provider. Don't let the society fool you with you going to the grocery store to get meat because one day you might have to get out in the woods and actually get it. You know, man, like I said, there's certain things my wife doesn't have to worry about traveling alone to suspect and shaky places, you know, because she's covered. And me as a man, I'm always carrying uh, my heat around, you know. You know, as a man, I'm always carrying that heat on me with multiple magazines, got enough rounds to be able to get my family out of a situation. But the price of that is her submission, her cooperation, you know, being modest. What man wants to, what man wants to fight off a woman that's begging for attention with her mouth and the way that she dressed and then wants you to protect her from the very same thing that she caused? The price of protection is submission. And I hope, I hope this lady that says this, oftentimes uh, when women realize the mistakes that they have made, it's often too late. It often comes, that wisdom comes after you've hit the wall. Potentially, you know, had, had made all these bad choices and men laid down and had all these kids. 
by different men, you know, your spiritual life is not together, but yet in your mind, you got it, you feel like you got it going on. So all praise to the Most High Yah for even this woman taking verbal accountability and trying to articulate to the women, hey, I'll stand by myself on this matter of we need to change the narrative. Men have been saying that for a long time. You know, a, a, a woman is operating in the wrong mindset when she wants to be independent, when she's uncovered, unprotected. On the surface, it sounds good. But when some shit hits the fan, this is when a woman wants a man to jump in, all of these strangers to jump in and protect her. And that's not the way it works in this daytime and hour as we are in the last days. This woman said, you know, when I get in that next relationship, you know, and I, and I, I, I hope she honors those words because just as quick as she's not in a relationship and I heard a kid in the background, you know, she could mess up the next relationship if she does not think about that when she's in a relationship. And there is great protection in the union of marriage outlined by the Most High Yah. But in order to have it, you have to submit. That's the price of protection at all levels throughout the chain of command. Roll that footage. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow. I'm gonna say this real quick and people ain't gotta agree with me. People can sit on the internet and try to drag me. I do not care, but I'm gonna stand on, I'm gonna die on a hill on this one. So guess what? Rest in peace to that woman. But I'm gonna tell you something. There's another video circulating right now of a black woman <laughs> and her son being harassed inside of a movie theater by one of them. Okay. And to the point where that lady got physical with that black woman. And um, hear me when I say this. Hear me when I say this. Whether I don't know if that woman got a man or not. But with everything that's going on right now, I'm really starting to realize the value of having a man in the house. I'm really starting to realize that. I'm really starting to realize the value of what it is to have a man for protection. Because mind you, I've been on that whole masculine, I could do it all by myself, I could do it all on my own, blah, blah, blah. But really, we cannot. And I'm going to tell you something, and people do not have to agree with me, but if you really take time and look from a different perspective, if there was a man in that home with that um, Miss Massey that got just recently got, a you know, gone away. If there was a man in the home, I promise you that man would have never let those police officers come into her home. He would have talked with them on the front porch. So in my personal opinion, I believe they understood that, that she was a single black woman by herself and they took advantage of that. And they entered into her home. And she was vulnerable. She was scared to the point where you saw her get up and go into her kitchen because that was the only place where she felt safe. But in my opinion, if there was a man in that house, a man would have never let two men with firearms come into their home. They would have bet that man at the dough. And I'm just saying I could die on a hill by myself with this one. But I think it's time that we as women start being these damsels in distress and start taking value of what it is to have a man in the house because to be straight up it would have been a man between that th those police officers and her it would have been a man right there at the door you get what i'm saying so this really shook me into realizing the value of the bl the the black families we need to rise up there needs to be a man in the house. We got to stop pushing this single narrative. We do not need to be single out here. We need a man in the house. We need the protection, the security. Because when we have a man, that outside world got to approach us differently. You get what I'm saying? So the next relationship I get into, I'm very much going to value it like nobody's business. 100%. Pay attention to what I'm saying.